Hello, welcome to the Mops BD. What we're going to do today is to install and configure an SMTP server. Let's go to the server manager, features, and then click on the add features. Uh, here is the SMTP server. Add the required role services. These are the prerequisites for SMTP server. Click next. Introduction to the web server. This is for your reading. WSRM uh, is already installed by default and it's turned on. Click next. Accept the default option unless you want to install some other authentication systems. Well, Windows system, IP and domain restrictions and policies. Uh, by default, FTP server and everything. So I'm good with this. So click next and install. So finally, the installation completed. We're going to manage the installed options from IIS. Let's see, we have, there are two options. This is Windows uh, IIS 6.0 and this is IIS 7. As you can see, the virtual server, sorry, the virtual SMTP server is already installed. Okay, uh, let's create a new virtual server for SMTP. Name of the virtual server, uh, mobs SRV. Um, let's do it SMTP1. Click next. I bet this for this server would be 120 and the network card over here is configured like this. TCP IP6 is already enabled. This is my network properties. Go to advanced TNS. Make sure these two checkboxes are turned on. So 120 it is. Click next. Home directory would be uh, since your mail server would have much of the mails stored over here, SMTP one. And the domain would be of the SRV dot pd dot org. So let's see some properties. <coughs> uh, this is your primary SMTP properties for your SMTP server. Microsoft doesn't have uh, doesn't have much to it, it doesn't it's it's actually pretty simple for setting up uh, the SMTP server, and you don't need to go through uh, loads of things to configure, and it's pretty basic. So let's do these things. Uh, limit per can I limit the connections like up to hundred. Enable logging unless you decide to do uh, this is a readable text format and there are other options also if you want to choose otherwise. Let's go for configure multiple identities for this virtual server. You can edit this port 25 and by default SMTP works on port 25 unless otherwise you want uh, it differently. So it's okay. We need to do what we need to do uh, is to secure this SMTP because there are people uh, in the net who would actually um, pass through your mails 
uh, males, uh, you pass through uh, all their mails through your SMTP. So we don't want to happen this thing. We don't want these things to happen. Anonymous access should not be checked in. Basic authentication and also TLS uh, default domain would be mobs-bd.org. Integrated Windows authentication uh, would also secure your tra uh, transactions uh, between SMTP and your exchange server or other servers you, if you have domain name. Okay, let's do this since I haven't actually set up my domain yet. So, connection control, let's go for all except only the list below. IP address should be 192.168.1. Uh, let's do 100 because uh, 100, uh, I have an exchange server on this email address, uh, on, on this IP address. Uh, relay restrictions should be all accept. Add a group of computers. Subnet address uh, domain, you can also Restrict, uh, restrictions would be because I'm using uh, my organizational domain. Let's say it works. Okay. Only the list below. Sorry. Mobs-pd.org. So this SMTP server would be used only by this domain. So you're more secure that way. Messages limit, it's actually up to you how much you want uh, each message, each, each message, each messages to be carrying out. If, 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 if those things, if the message is uh, more than two megabytes, it will limit the, uh, it will block the mail. Mail delivery options, outbound security, basic authentication or integrated Windows authentications at uh, this authenticated uh, authentication needs to be put in. And if required, TLS encryption would be a nice idea. Outbound connections, limit number of connections to outbound, limit number of connections per domain is, one. Uh, let's say, 1,000. Advanced maximum hop count, uh, 1530 would be maximum. Masquerade domain. I don't need those things in right now. You can also perform reverse DNS lookup in incoming messages. So, if you want it, LDAP routing, anything you, if you want. Apply security administrators into administrators and local authority services over here are already granted secure, uh, these are the operator, operators, so this would moderate the SMTP server. So, it's it's already a done deal. So finally, we have already created an SMTP server. And it's successful.